boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it's your boy Mega Crasher. Come at you pumped up, come at you hardcore, and I come at you guys back again once again with a brand new video coming in the form of two more Tuesdays! Woohoo! In this video, we have ourselves two amazing battles to get to narrating, and we are opening things up in a hyped way because we got Mace Master versus McLeavies in a PU match. Now, I don't know what you'll vote with you guys, but I am so excited to get this started because it's a PU match, man. And PU is still relatively new, so we get to see some more action in the newest tier of PU. So, Mace Master is packing the likes of the Gallade. We also have Sock. We got Gluttony itself, the Guzzlord. We also have ourselves the Mawile. We got Hitmonchan, and we got the Gastrodon. Now, McLeave's team is a pretty scary and interesting one as well, because we also have ourselves the Hitmonchan, we got the Roselia, we got Regirock, we got Rotom Frost, we got Gastrodon, and we got Clang Clang. So, woohoo, shit, without a shadow of a doubt, is going to be a very, very interesting match. So, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's aim for 30 likes, and let's do this! Woo! And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So we are leading things off with Intern versus the Gastrodon. So what is going to happen here? We got that Drain Pudgeon. Woo! That's going to do some damage. And we got a Life Orb variant. So Intern now gets a Toxic in return for its troubles from the Gastrodon. And it's now going to be put on a timer. So it switches out knowing that. It goes into Gluttony the Guzzlord, baby. And we got that Recover going on. So... Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, that thing's going to be trouble. So now we go into Facade with that Intimidate. And what's going to happen? Well, it's going to take that Toxic without any trouble whatsoever. Only to return the Toxic in favor for the Gastrodon. But it gets completely lit up with that Earth Power. So that thing is done. That thing is just out cold. But in comes Gluttony as well. So what is going to happen? Gastrodon now switches out and goes into Clang Clang, baby. So we got that Dark Pulse going on. Oh, shit. Man, that does so much damage! Holy cow! So Gluttony switches out and goes into Satisfaction, the Gastrodon, and that Gear Grind is going to hit once and twice and still not going to do really any damage whatsoever because Gastrodon is a tank. So let's see what we got going on. Gastrodon switches out and goes into Glamour, the Gullade, and the Gear Grind missed. Oh shit, that's not good at all, man. Uh-oh, what's going to happen here? What the hell? It's like a revolving door of Pokemon. We're back into satisfaction. And of course, the gear grind's going to hit again, but without really doing too much significant damage. All right. Oh, shit. Let's see what's going to happen next, man. And he goes to the gear grind again. And once again, not doing that much damage. Also, because of the fact it's not very effective. And it gets blown back by the Earth Power. Woo! Very, very nice. All right, let's see what's going to happen next, man. And now we got Roselia coming in, so that means... Oh, what the hell? Are you actually serious right now? What the hell? Like, we had ourselves a, a fake switch. It's like a fake out going on, so he was baiting... Oh, man, that's just nuts. Yep, he was baiting the switch right there and goes into Glamour, the Gallade. So what's going to happen? We, of course, have that Volt Switch, and that's not going to do too, too much damage. And we go back into Gashadon, man. So now we got the Drain Punch going on. Not going to do that much damage, but it will restore some health. And yeah, so this is shaping up to be a very interesting match whatsoever. Man. Like, this is crazy. So he switches out, goes back into the Gluttony. Let's see what's going to happen here. So we go for the Recover once again. And Gashadon is still put on that timer thanks to Toxic. So it's got to switch out. It goes into Hitmonchan. And we got that Dark Pulse going on. Not going to do that much damage to Hitmonchan, obviously. So it stays in, goes to the Drain Punch, and it survives that Drain Punch. Oh, shit. And it goes for that Dark Pulse, and that's still not going to be enough to really threaten that Hitmonchan. And without a shadow of a doubt, is going to take down the Gluttony with that Drain Punch. Super effective, getting most of its health back. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we get into Glamour, and Hitmonchan switches up and goes into Regirock, baby. So now, we got that Bulka from the Gallade. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I think it's coming, baby. I think it's coming. Yep. He's at plus two now in the attack and the defense. And Regirock now goes for that Thunder Wave. So we got ourselves some paralyzing one. And of course, that Earthquake is not going to do that much damage. But he does get paralyzed for his troubles. So what is going to happen here, man? This is getting crazy. Got that Earthquake. He's going to do another 20%. And what? He's paralyzed again. Come on, man. Come on. You cannot let Glamour go down like that, man. You got to let it shine. Let's see it. We got that Drain Punch. Oh, that's going to do some damage. And Regirock hangs tough, man. Holy cow. That thing 
has really solid defenses. It goes for that Earthquake and I think only doing 17% and of course that Drain Punch is going to be enough to take out the Red Rock and Glamour is back to full health, baby. Here we go. Now we got Rotom Frost coming in, so what's going to happen? It goes for that Bolt Switch. Not going to do that much damage. Uh oh well, What's going to happen though? We got Resilient coming in and of course that Drain Punch is going to do over half damage. That type resistance doesn't even matter at this point, I don't think. Uh-oh. And, of course, now we got Giga Drain. That's not going to do too, too much damage. But will that be enough? Will that be enough? No, it's not. It goes down to the Drain Punch. Holy shit. Oh, my God. And now we have ourselves the Rotom Frost coming back in with that Thunderbolt. And that's going to do 40% damage. And it goes for another bulk up. It does not even care. Oh, jeez. I think we know it's coming. That Thunderbolt is going to do some damage and he doesn't get parried in that turn and he goes for that drain punch holy shit i was going to say like if he gets parried like we can do see right here in the chat misclick if i get parried i will be sad <sighs> yeah i'd be sad too man holy shit but let's get back into it man so what's gonna happen next man now we got hitmonchan coming in can hitmonchan make the difference it goes to that drain punch and that drain punch is not gonna do that much damage and what's gonna happen drain punch ah! Oh shit! Oh no! Hitmon Chan gets KO'd! Uh oh, and now we got Gastron coming in. Can Gastron do anything? Well, not with that damage. Not with that kind of damage. And Drain Punch! Holy shit, he survived plus three! He survived plus three. Does Gastron have a chance to survive and tough this battle out? Well, he goes right for the Earth Power. He didn't go for that recover because he knows it's inevitable and that Drain Punch is gonna be enough to finish him off. That right there was a tremendous good game. Holy cow. A great game by both competitors, but Mace Master with that bulk up Gallade. Holy shit. That was envy to the fucking P right there, man. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that right there, a great game by both competitors. Mace Master getting the 4-0 victory. And now, ladies and gentlemen, are you guys ready for battle number two? Because I sure am, baby. Woo! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our next match. And we have ourselves a Gen 7 Mix and Mega Match. Now, Mr. Mar 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 I Man, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. I'm just going to call you Mr. M. Is taking on my friend, my bro from another most Sky Knight in man. So, let's see what we got going on here for Mr. M's team. Oh, shit. Here we go, baby. So we have ourselves the Gardevoir, we got Salamence, we got Greninja, we got Zekrom, we got the origin form of Giratina, and we got Sceptile. Now Sky Knight of Man is packing the Rose Raid, we got Celestelia, we also have ourselves the Shift Tree, that thing puts in work, man. We also have ourselves the Rotom Cut, we got the Garchomp, and we have ourselves a Volcarona, baby. So with all that being said, let us now engage in our second match. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so we're leading off with Greninja, and we're leading off with Wind Dancer, the Shift Tree, and uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, it's Aerodactylite, and it's gonna get that Tough Claws fake out going, baby, oh shit, here we go, so Wind Dancer has to switch out, and goes into Ra, the Volcarona, and with the Acrobats, oh shit, that's gonna do some damage, and uh-oh, it's the Mega Charizard Y variant of Volcarona, and it sets up them spikes, and we got Solar Beam going on, and that is, without a shadow of a doubt, gonna take out the Greninja. Without a shadow of a doubt, baby. And now we got Zekrom coming in. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. What's gonna happen next, baby? What is gonna happen? We got Cynthia the Garchomp now. Oh, shit. And it goes with that Bolt Strike, and that's not gonna do anything. That type is ineffective against it. And we got Lucaria Knight, and that Earthquake. Woo! Shit! Zekrom actually survived that. An adaptability boosted Earthquake with a boosted attack. Holy shit, that Zekrom is bulky as hell. Okay, and it goes to that Outrage, and that's going to take out Cynthia the Garchomp. How did that even happen? What the hell? But we're back into the Wind Dancer. What's going to happen here, man? It goes to that fake out, and Zekrom survives by 1%, but it does get flinched. All right, so now it's confused at this point. So what is going to happen here? It's confused, and it goes for that Protect. Okay. Oh, jeez. Like, I want to know what kind of set this Zekrom has and what EVs this thing has, because that thing is a tank. But it's not able to tank up that Sucker Punch at 1% health. No way, man. And I feel something coming up because I'm so hyped. But now we got Selwyn's coming in and Wind Dancer's fearing that. So it switches into Rocket Queen, the Celestelia. And it's Mega Salamence with that Earthquake. That's not going to do anything. And what's going to happen? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. We got Dragon Dance coming in. Now we got that Leech Seat going on. So what is going to happen in this exchange between Mega Salamence and Rocket Queen? Uh-oh. 
What? Oh shit, we got Agronite for Rocket Queen. That means filter and like a boosted defense stat. Oh shit, that's gonna be crazy. And even still, a plus one that's gonna do some damage. And we got that Iron Head going on, and that's gonna do some damage as well. And we got the Leech Seed lapping up that health big time. But of course, now Rocket Queen switches out and goes into Summer Job, the Rotom Cut. And it gets completely obliterated with a plus one or outrage from the Mega Salamence, baby. And now we got Wind Dancer, the Shift Tree, baby. Oh shit. Now we got the Fake Out going on. So what is gonna happen here? It's obviously going to get flinched. And it's going to get some health recovery back with that Leech Seed. And we got the Sucker Punch. Oh, that's going to take out the Mega Salamence. Oh, my God. This is getting so tight. Now we got Giratina Origin. And whoa, that takes so much damage. And now we got that Shadow Ball. Not going to do that much damage to the Wind Dancer. Uh-oh. So it goes for the Tailwind. Speaking of the Wind. And we got that Outrage. that's going to take out the Wind Dancer at this point. Oh, shit. Here it comes, man. Here comes the Rocket Queen now. What is going to happen? He's fired off that Leech Seed. What's going to happen? We got that Outrage. Not going to do that much damage. And it gets confused, too. So, it actually was enough to take down the Giratina with that Leech Seed re recoil. But now we have ourselves a Sceptile coming in. Or should I say Mega Sceptile? Oh, shit. And now we got a Totemize coming in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. And it just missed the Leech Seed. The Sceptile missed the Leech Seed. And it goes to that Iron Head. That's going to do a little over half damage. And he finally connects with that Leech Seed. <laughs> Holy shit, though. That, this is getting crazy. It goes to Iron Head and it lives a 5% health. Are you serious right now? And of course, that Leaf Storm is going to drop that special attack by two stages. Oh, man. This is getting down to the wire big time. And it goes for that Protect. Oh, shit. That's not good for Rocket Queen, man. It looks like it might, in fact, be going down. And that's exactly what happens here, man. Holy shit. And now we got Rob with that Mega Charizard. I Why? So what is going to happen next, man? And it goes for some suit. Does not have enough for left. And it goes to that Bug Buzz the Rod does and takes out the Sep Mega Septile, man. And now we got Gardevoir coming in. So what is going to happen here? It Mega Evolves into Mega Gardevoir. Uh-oh. And it goes to that Flamethrower and it lives with 9% health. Holy shit. And that's going to be enough to take him out with that Thunderbolt. Oh, shit. But now it's come down to this. Now we got Claire the Rose Raid coming in. And that's the Red Orb version of Rose Raid. Uh-oh. And it goes to the Dazzling Cream. That's not going to be enough to take him out. And the Sludge Bomb is going to be enough to take out the Mega Gardevoir. And that is going to be the game. Holy shit. That was absolutely intense, man. Holy cow. It was so intense. I almost ended up up chucking my supper that I ate a little while ago. Can't be having that now. Not during intense ba battles like these. Hell no. So, with that being said, a great, great game by both competitors. Sky Knight and Man clutches out that one zip win. And that right there is going to conclude these battles and then conclude this video. So, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, then make sure you smash the hell out of the like button. It is, like I said, at the beginning of the program. Let's aim for 30 likes. And if you want more content like this, make sure you subscribe, support, and stay positive. And don't forget to turn on notifications. That way, you'll be the first to know when you see me upload next. And also, ladies and gentlemen, if this is your very first time ever viewing my content and you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for, man? Woo! Hit the sub button up real nice and join our community today, baby, as we are burning rubber big time on the highway to 5K! So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys all very much for watching this video. Much love you cool cats, and I will see you next upload!